Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Phil and I'm going to be renovating this Victorian property. Um, so this is the first episode and I'm going to give you a tour of the property and run through some of the ideas that I've got um, for the things I'm going to do in here, um, some of the repairs that need doing. So this is the, the entrance hall here. I'll uh, go around here so as if you just come into the property. So you, it's got a lot of the original details, which is really nice. And then through to the left here, and you've got the living room, which has been used as a bedroom, um, the place for tenanted, and the landlord obviously wanted to, to rent out every, every possible space he could. Um, but this is going to be the living room. Um, fireplace, nice original fireplace, that needs cleaning up. Uh, wallpaper needs stripping back. Um, also going to be painted. I need to decide what colour. And again, some of the nice original details here. Um, the big problem in this room is this, where a leak has come through from the bathroom above. So I'm going to have to get the the ceiling redone as well. So back through to the hallway, and we come through to this room here, this middle room, which is the kitchen. Now, in a lot of these properties, the neighbouring properties, this is actually the dining room and the kitchen is in that back room there. So that is my intention really in here, is to remove all this, get this kitchen stripped down. I mean, it's in horrible condition anyway, um, and move the kitchen through to that back room there, which has been used as a, well, just like a sort of random dining area slash lounge, just a bit of a nothing room really. Um, but uh, to sort of help that plan, I'm also thinking to get this wall wall removed to make this an open plan um, kitchen diner. So I have the kitchen, the kitchen through there, and this will become a dining area, kind of right in the in the middle of the house. Um, so I'll show you through. So this room. So my plan for this, where the kitchen will be, to have sort of L shape L shaped kitchen units along there. Um, potentially have the the cooker, the cooker in here. Um, we'll see if I can open it up. Potentially um, get rid of that that old chimney breast, um, but that's going to come down to to cost. Really, see how much it will cost to get that done. Um, door out to the back garden there, and the basement is down there. I won't show you that right now. So we come up the stairs. And this is this is the smallest of the, the three bedrooms. Um, I mean it's not it's not too bad a size, it probably looks tiny because of this uh, the fisheye lens I've got on, but and because it's full of mattresses as well, but it's not too bad. You could you could fit a double bed, a double bed in here. Um but it needs, I mean, it needs fully redecorating this room. The the walls are covered in this really badly done Artex stuff. Um, and the ceiling's covered in that too. So that's going to be a bit of a job getting all that off. Um, but I need to check whether it might have any asbestos in it because some of this old Artex can have asbestos if it was done before a certain date. So I need to get that tested and and then then proceed to get it all removed um and and smooth smooth back these walls and then we come through here to right on, the main the main bedroom the master bedroom and again it probably doesn't look very big because of this lens I've got on the camera, but it's not a bad size actually. Um, and then some of the original features. Well, all of the all of the rooms have got these original fireplaces, which are really nice. It's a feature that I'm going to hang on to. Um, so you can see in here, I've already started um, stripping the walls, uh, stripping the ceiling. I take it, it was papered, so I've taken that off. Um, and then here, yeah, I have to fill fill quite a few holes in the walls, and then then get that painted. For the flooring, I'm going to see what condition the, the original floorboards are in. If I rip up this carpet, if they're in good condition, I'll keep them. Maybe I'll um, I might paint them or stain them. Um, otherwise, I'll just get a new carpet fitted. 
So we've got the bathroom here, which is a little bit dated looking, as you can see. So I don't want to do too much in here. Just um, just paint paint the walls again. Get rid of this horrible kind of yellowy orange paint. So I'm just going to paint them a, a white, and and just clean it up really. Um, the sinks the sinks all broken. So I'm gonna I'm gonna replace this unit, but everything else is pretty much going to stay. Just give it a, a look of paint. See a lot of the paint on the door frame is flaking off, so that needs sorting. And through here to the 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 next bedroom, the last bedroom. So again, it's not a bad size. It's got the original um, original fireplace, and it's got the Artex on the walls again. So this is the same same as the other one. I'm going to have to strip that back. Um, and then we've got this this cheap um, cheap flooring, so I'm going to rip that up and see what the condition of the boards are like underneath again. So uh, that's about it for now. Um, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you again soon for episode two, and hopefully I will have started progressing with some of this work. Cheers! So I thought I'd give you a little bonus clip of the garden, which I didn't show you before. So here it is. Small little garden, um, completely overgrown. So I need to uh, get rid of all those weeds. Um, not sure exactly what I'll do with it. There is some paving slabs down there. So potentially under all of those weeds, it might not actually be too bad. I can just clean them up, but I'll have to see once I start removing all that vegetation what what I'm working with um, and then go from there and if you have any advice or tips for me then I'd love to hear from you um, so feel free to send me a message and hit the subscribe button below cheers